Hello everyone, today I have another game for you. This is Victor into Shivana. If you do hear a voice in the background, that is me from my stream. Link to my Twitch will be down below. I stream basically every day at around 8, 9 p.m. Eastern on both Twitch and YouTube. Hope to see you guys there. So I think this game I thought I was against the... They have an enemy Wukong jungle and a Renekton top. I think I thought it was Wukong middle and then... Or like Renekton middle and then um, Shivana jungle. Generally, area into Shivana is not great. It's not awful, but it's not the best. Uh, usually she'll just go D shield second wind and it's just kind of hard to poke her out. Generally you can't poke her out until you have like Leandri's or Lost Chapter. Okay, not too bad spacing. Mm, she has first strike. We're definitely not going to let her get it. I don't know why she would go first strike this game. She's not going to get a single first strike proc off in lane. Not a single one she's going to get off this game. All right, there's no way, right? There has to be no, maybe one, but like there shouldn't be any. I just laser poke her every time it's up. Uh, but like maybe, okay, yeah, that doesn't count. She hit me with an E, but that's not a first strike proc. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was going to say maybe the first strike is better. Like, cause first strike's like a better rune for like mid game, honestly. Cause like, if you think about it, you get a first strike trade worth like seven gold, eight gold, 10 gold early on. Like one trade's worth about that much. And then once you have like two, three items, your trades start being worth like 60, 80, a hundred gold from like one first strike trade. So like, one trade mid to mid game is or worth like almost 10 trades early game. So even if you get one good first strike trade later on, I guess it makes sense. The only other option I would think she would, I think she would go is like Dark Harvest or, um, or Phase Rush. I think Dark Harvest probably is the regular one when you're going AP Shivana. Okay, we saw Jungler, bot side there. We crashed the wave in here. CS is not the best. We've missed a full wave of minions so far. We missed six CS so far. That's yikes. Pretty yikes, actually. We see Wukong on Grump right now. I'm just sitting back, pretending like I'm recalling, waiting to see if Shivana's going to shove. At the moment he uses that ability here, I'm probably going to walk back. Let's see. Yeah, or just, okay I, okay, I walk back a little early. Never mind. And just look for laser poke. I should have waited for her to E the wave. That's what I should have done. And then I walk back. Because then it messes up the wave. It gets it shoving into me. Because she chunks the entire casters and melees. And it makes it really hard for her to farm without getting like really, really chunked. So yeah, I think I messed that up a little bit. Sitting back was fine. I think sitting what I did was great. They don't, they don't know if I'm backing. They don't know if I'm roaming. It is Victor, so it's very unlikely that I'm roaming. But there is always the possibility. Okay, decent laser. He has a dematerializer, by the way, as well. He's already used all three. I still have one more dematerializer for cannon. Okay, I'm playing a little far back. I'm, I'm worried about the bot side Wukong gank, I imagine. Because my wave is pushing out. I probably should have dematerialized this cannon and crashed the wave. If he's smart, he'll hold this wave and not let it crash. Yeah, I should have 100% dematerialized that cannon. Oh, he's not even going to hold the wave. Okay, we're fine. I'm assuming Wukong is bot side. He's probably going to recall shortly and then rotate back up to Raptors. So I'm getting the ward and top side now. Um, while I can, while I know he's not there. Because I'm most likely he's still bot side in the middle right now. He's probably like counter jungling our raptors and then maybe looking for a gank on me or counter jungling raptors and then resetting. Okay, it's Nami. Either or. Wukong or Nami. It's fine. We're chilling far enough back that we're fine. I don't even miss the minion. That's really good. See, I think the ward on raptors is really good. We see Wukong top now. He did just reset. He didn't even counter jungle our raptors. That's crazy. He just reset and walked top. That's insane. Okay. So raptors are still up. Oh, what was that? W. Was that a misclick? I think that was a misclick. That was super bad misclick. I that was really bad. I think it was a misclick. Because now I don't have enough mana for the re rec side of gank here. I don't have enough mana for my full trade and a W. Yeah, that was really, really bad, actually. I think that was a misclick. Unlucky. I can demat this cannon now and then reset with lost chapter and base, which is good. Okay, I don't think I should alt crash this. I don't need to. Just two autos on each caster when you have dematerializer on them and then laser. Perfect, just like that. I miss one. That's fine. Crash this. Back up. Reset. What am I doing? I'm walking. Mm, I don't know why I walked forward. Maybe I was walking forward to like guarantee that she doesn't clear this and walk down. I was just making sure the waves escorted into tower, I guess. I don't think I needed to do that though. I think that was a pretty free dragon for our team. We saw Wukong clearing raptors there like 20 seconds ago. So I don't think I needed to walk up like that. I could have just reset and got back mid a little faster. But it's fine. I might miss a minion now though. Let's see. I, yeah, I definitely miss a minion. Do I miss two? I don't think I miss two. I might miss two. No shot, I miss two. Uh, 
Okay, I only missed one worth of one minion of XP. Even if I recalled earlier, I, don't, I still don't think I would have gotten that. But I got lucky with the other two melees living with such low HP. Okay, we're at 60 passive stacks. 48 CS at 6 minutes. That's average. It's not really good. It's not terrible, though. It's like, eh. It's okay. I need to tap again. I need to see how much Shivana CS is or click on her. I'm really worried about a bot side Wukong gank now. Shivana's 6 as well. She's probably going to look for a roam bottom now. I could look for a lane ward. I should. What I should do is ward the middle of the lane closer to their side to see where Shivana's rotating to and then hold my control ward, maybe get a defensive control ward or get one in bot side dot push. Because you know she's not going to roam top lane. Top lane roams make like, little sense for her especially. Against a Camille, she just jumps away. Getting your bot lane ahead is really, really important. Okay, well... I wasn't paying attention for the CS again there, I didn't see. Bot wave is slow pushing away from us, so is middle. We're chunking her down nicely. There she is, she has 58 CS, so we're up a little bit. Not too much, actually. We're about equal. She's probably actually slightly up, because she has this bigger wave to farm still. 60 to 62, yeah, she's up. She's up. Yeah, she's up like three minions on me, actually. We crash this wave, danger ping her, she's walking down. Let's see if she goes. If she goes now, she misses this wave, though. My team's back, okay, this is actually good. Her going down here is kind of grief. If my team actually backs up, oh my god, they were backing up and then stopped. Please tell me my team's actually recalling. They have good vision, but still, it's Shivana. She can just R over the wall and then chunk you guys. I'm walking up to the Renekton, and we see Wukong up here as well, trying to help a Camille dive. This might be a little int for me, honestly. Rex is too far. Okay, I W. Wukong just jumps out of it, yeah. I ghost. Oh my god, I'm going to die. Okay, we pop ghost. Oh, oh my god, we got so... That's luck there. That's not even... That's not a good play. I think that was kind of grief. I should have waited for Rex to get closer. This ends up working out, but I think I played it incorrectly. I think I should have waited a little bit to just let Rex get a little closer before I go for a trade. I end up getting one kill. Wow, I actually ended up getting two kills. Shivana ended up going bottom and making a play there, by the way. Um, I can just reset here. This mid wave is shoving back into me. This is good. I can buy Fiendish Codex boots here. I think it's the right buy. No point in hard crashing this wave. It's denying Shivana more... XP and CS faster than I could push it with the wave the way it is. Because this is way this wave's slow pushing into me. If I tried to crash that wave, it'd probably be crashing right about now. And the whole really big chunk of the wave would be alive, and Shivana just got there at that time. So instead of I deny her like probably three, four minions by letting it slow push into me. If I get lucky and get that cannon, that's actually insane. Even if I don't get the cannon, it's still like a really good play because we are oh wow, I do. I do get the cannon, that's nuts. I live with one HP. Oh, I misclicked. I think I was danger picking bot lane. Shivana's probably going to go back down there. Yep. So yeah, we're, bu we're building towards Leandri's, obviously. Once we get Leandri's, our poke... Our Rakan is looks like he's having internet issues. He keeps DCing and reconnecting. Shivana bot lane and Tribush. Yep, we pinged it. There's no point in me going down at this point. They're just dead. Yep. She gets one actually back. That's not awful. They're both dead for sure, though. Shivana gets two. We did ping. I don't know if their wave state was in a spot where they had to, like push it to crash or something, but they sh oh well. They die, I get a plate, I crash a wave. We're definitely up in gold, XP, NCS on the Shivana really, really hard. Really nicely. Good crash, walk up. No, I'm not gonna walk up, I'm really gonna hover for the plate. Oh, we see Shivana bot still, never mind, I didn't realize. Yeah, this is fine then. Shivana's still staying bot, that's super int from her. I think going for this next plate might be a little int. I have Leandri's, I should st uh, it's 30 gold away now, I might have to wait in base a little bit. I could have crashed one more wave, but I think this is fine. I'm not waiting for too much gold. I do have Leandri's here, though. That's really good. Just sit and wait for the 15 gold. It's not that big a deal. It's a little annoying because I might miss some minions because it looks like Kog'Maw is crashing, but it's fine. Okay, we got our Leandri's. Yeah, Shivana's staying bot after the play. I don't think that made a whole lot of sense because he's sharing plate gold. I'm getting the exact same amount of plates middle, yet I'm getting solo XP and solo plates while they're sharing bot lane and mid was just dying to nothing. So I definitely better for us. Even though Shivana gets the kills, I think it's definitely still better for us. It's unfortunate that she got the kills. But like I'm XP is like massive in League of Legends. Okay, I can walk down now. I've ghost up in 15. I do have ulti. Shivana just beelines at right bot lane. She's still level eight. I'm nine. I think I'm up close to like probably like 70-80% of a level, maybe a full level. Okay, Wukong one shot. This is looking a little sketchy. I don't like this at all. Shivana doesn't have ulti, so she's not super useful, but it's very close. Uh, I didn't ghost earlier to look for the Wukong or anything. I don't waste ghost, at least. I could have ghosted way sooner and looked for, like, the laser on Wukong. 
because I have Leandre's, the laser would have killed for sure. Uh, maybe if Nami heal was up, I, I don't get If Nami heals up, I absolutely don't get him, but... Could be Mountain Soul too. Be I think I should have at least looked for it. It's fine, though. It's not that big a deal. It's okay not looking for it. That was kind of a... If I did look for it, it was kind of a high-risk, low-reward play. Because I'm wasting Ghost for maybe a kill. And it's probably a very, it's a very unlikely kill. We pinged for Zaya to go middle there, so he goes middle. We're crashing bot. We can look for a plate here, probably. Don't laser the Nami unless you're going to back off. Only time I laser the Nami is when I'm not looking for the plate. Oh, no. Am I dead here? Ghost? What? My Rakan is staying on Drake. Yeah, I'm just dead here. I walked out. Yeah, that was int. I feel like Rakan probably could have hovered me. I don't think... He, he's not needed to help with Dragon. But I, see, I guess that was a definitely a misplay for me walking up without having my Rakan hovering. If the Rakan was hovering, it was fine being there. But since he wasn't and he did go to Dragon, I shouldn't expect him to come, come to me. I should expect him to not come to me because he didn't look like he was. So I just give Kogma a kill. At least it wasn't a shutdown, but still. Really bad. Kogma gets a kill, gets some plates. That's really, really bad, actually. Really bad death. I waste R2, I waste Ghost 2, and I just still die. Yeah, that was really bad. They get a plate middle, but still, I don't. I think that was better. absolutely better for them. We see Wukong spots out of middle. They get the Herald Crash. Tower doesn't go down, obviously. Takes like 1.7 like plates now, 1.8 plates now, instead of 2, ever since the... Tower buff. Several patches ago. Okay. Uh, this is still a free kill if Rek'Sai comes. Like, even without ulti, I do so much damage with Leandri's. I probably should crash this wave. I slow push that one wave, so this wave's closer to my side to farm. This is fine. Yeah, I crash this, and then I back off. Or, like, bush cheese or something. We know Wukong's down here, so I do have to watch out. I can sit in the bush or something and wait. I think sitting in the bush is probably the play. Nice. Good job, Camille. He gets the kill top. 106 CS at 13.30, that's not great. That's Again, I'd say that's average, that's okay. Um, that's Bush is probably warded the way they're playing. I was wondering if Rex, I was just going to tunnel over for the knockup. Oh, he doesn't have Prowler's Claw. If he had Prowler's Claw, I think him tunneling over there looking for the knockup would be worth. And Wukong shows up. Does he die? He probably dies. Yeah, Wukong flashes. Do I kill? Oh, he gets R off. Nice, I, we killed Wukong now. Nice. He ends up getting his R off, which is good. I'm fine here. Actually, no, I'm not. Shivana kills me. What am I doing? Walk, walk, walk. Walk away. Why am I... St oh, I'm dead. For sure. There's no way out, right? For sure? Yep. I should have kept walking. I don't know why I stopped. I don't know why I stopped and walked back to the tower. My only way out there is either committing to the recall under tower, which is grief because Kog'Maw just R stops it. I think the only real reasonable play is just keep walking away after the kill. And then I maybe have a chance to, like, flash or, some, or Shivana E or something and live. Or, like, sidestep it or whatever. But okay, my team gets a good amount of damage on mid tower there. Not too bad. We get mid, we get the outer tower and then chunk inner tower to like half it looks like. I have Sorks now finally. We really want to hit 11. Rank 2 Victor ults where the ult starts to become relevant. Rank 1 Victor ults like really, really trash. It's nice with Leandri's burn continuously popping on them, but I think resetting. Should be a dead or an right? Oh, he... Yeah, okay, good job. Nice. Okay, I'm going to go bot. Keep clearing... Pogma middle, they're looking for a Herald, I think this is fine. I have ult up in 25, please don't miss cannon. Okay, good, nice. Didn't miss the cannon. Shivana's probably down here, I assume. Yep, Shivana's topside, what is happening? Okay, if Shivana shows top there, I'm absolutely hard shoving this. Only one who could be here right now is Wukong. We see Shivana on Herald, and I'm assuming Wukong is on Herald with him. I doubt Shivana's trying to solo Herald, so this is full tower I think I get here. Unless Renekton, Renekton has TP or no? If Renekton has TP, I assume he TPs to this when he spawns. E no, guess he doesn't. I didn't see what summoner spell he had. Okay, I should be able to get full tower here. Not in this wave, but next wave for sure. I don't think Red Necton makes it in time. Push, what, what, what am I doing? What? What am I? Take tower, what am I doing? Am I really worried about Shivana coming down? No. No, I'm stupid. I was really worried about Shivana coming bottom. Okay, we're, we instead of bush cheese and chunk Renekton. Okay, whatever. I had ghost and flash. I feel like I would have been fine there. I guess I ended up doing the safer play. I guess it's fine, whatever. I think that should have been a free tower, though, if my map awareness was a little better. Okay, they fight here. I'm walking up. Good TP flank here from our Camille. Oh, he gets his back. Oh, Camille got his ult stopped by Shivana. Shivana art into him. 
I get an assist here. Nice. We got some passive stacks. Rek'Sai lives? Wow. Really nice. Should be able to get Wukong now too. Yep. Everybody lives. Wow. That's insanely good for us. That's Herald for sure. And I think we can push middle. Sh uh, Zaya shouldn't walk up here. Shivana can actually just delete his ass. Yep. This is bad from Zaya. Yeah, yeah, I think just... Her no, her what? Oh, we want to do Dragon, not... Okay, I guess. Sure. I feel like Camille could solo it. I feel like Camille could solo Herald right now. I guess he values pushing top a little more. I guess, yeah, pushing the top wave and going for the tower makes more sense than Herald. Because Herald's kind of a coin flip at this point. If, if, if Wukong decides to go to Herald instead of Drake to try and trade it, Camille just leashes it for him. I assume they're going to contest Drake, but if they didn't, Camille would just leash for him. Instead, Camille crashes top wave and that gets tower. And then she starts walking down. I think that's the better play. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I have ghost and no ulti though. Okay, oh, I have ghost and no ulti. I pinged that I don't have ult. Good. Gotta hover here, be smart. Could get Wukonged over the wall here. I should laser and look to clear Blast Cone. Right, there we go, nice, good, perfect, exactly. Now the only way they have to get in is Wukong clone jumping over the wall or Shivana Aring in. Camille flanking here too. I feel like this might not be okay. I don't have ulti up yet. Uh, okay, we get that. Can we ult? I, my ult just came up. Oh, really good ult W. Forces them away. We get Kogma too. Nice. Renekton's still top. What, are, what am I? Grief free calling? What was that? He dies. Wukong jumps over the wall for me. Yep. Be, yeah, we're fine. Should be a dead Shivana. Key flash. Nice. Good. Key flash auto. This is free Drake. There's no way Wukong's contesting at that HP. Yep. And we lasered him. Yes. No chance he's contesting at that HP. Just help with Drake. Rek'Sai is a little low, so I think helping with Drake makes sense. Renekton was pushing top that entire time. Rakan Camille going up there now, denying him the inner tower. He didn't get any damage on it, it looks like. Okay, I'm tanking Drake here because I'm wondering if Wukong's going to psychopath contest. I don't think he is, but in case he does, I wanted Rek'Sai healthy. Am I really going to go Banshee's just... Wait, what? I feel like I should go Hourglass, even though Shivana's like... Shivana hurts a lot. But, like, that's it. I'd only be building Banshees just to, like, stop Shivana Chunk by, like, a little bit. I don't even think it would be that relevant. It would block one of her E's, maybe. And then the next one is still going to chunk me, like, insanely hard. I think Hourglass is for sure the better play. So, yeah, I canceled my back because I wanted the gold for Hourglass without having to sell refill, which is fine. Okay, we have Zhonya's now. Because the rest of the team is full AD. Kog'Maw does do a little bit of magic, but Renekton... Kog'Maw is mostly AD with his current build. And then there's Renekton and uh, Wukong. I think the Zhongyus is nice. It's thought whenever Wukong does try to like hard engage or Renekton tries to hard engage, I can always like W alt laser Q Zhongyus or Q auto Zhongyus or whatever. Because then their whole team's like committed on you and you're just sitting there with your R ticking on them in their W, in your W potentially stunned. I really shouldn't walk up here. I'm going to get Wukong Shivana probably. I should just sit back and wait for the wave to come to me. Zaya's hovering kind of close, but we haven't seen Wukong. We just saw three top. It was only Nami, Kogma, and uh, Renekton. Uh, even being here is a little greedy, I think. Okay, now we see Shivana, we're fine. We see Wukong, we're fine. Okay, we're good. Without seeing them, even though, yeah, Baron's coming up, like, players could go for psychopath plays like that being bot lane. Shivana, we saw Shivana middle, and since Baron is up, I'm going to walk over. Outer tower's gone. It would take me so long to crash the inner tower. I don't have teleport, obviously. I have ghost. So I think walking up is a better play. Camille should just back off here and be content with the He alts? Jesus. This is not... There's no way this is good. Barely get him. This seems not good for us at all. Okay, I go for the alt laser on Kogma. Chunk him to below half. Shivana Wukong are up there, though, going on our team. Okay. Camille, Shivana kills Camille. This is a little yikes. We could have just backed off and Baron there, I think. Or at least baited Baron and then looked for a fight, but everyone's just trying. Is I going to die? Let's see. Shivana E? No? Okay, now everyone else gets away. Honey fruit for Zaya. I should stay middle and clear wave. They could look for Baron right now. We were too chunked. Kogma, what? WQ? What am I doing? Did I just Q the minion, not Kogma? That was a little int walking up the way I did. I have Zanya, so I think I would have been okay, but still. That was a little int walking up the way I did. I was kind of hoping Zaya would go on him with me, but then Zaya just died. He just got melted. Okay, Shadowflame. 
Let me see. I have to hit tab. I'm pretty sure Shadow Flame is the best buy next, but let me see. Yeah, no bonus MR from anybody on their team. Mandate, Medjai's, Nami. Yeah, no MR. Just full AP Shivana. Renekton only has Black Cleaver, Armor Boots, and Sunder. Yeah, that's just gone. Yeah, there's nothing. Like, Lazaya dying, there's no way we can contest that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that was. I was trying to stay middle just to look for the cl wave clear, but then I walked up too far into Cogma and I got chunked. Can we go on somebody? Can we and then Zaya dying just means there's no way we're contesting. And me being so chunked, there's no way we're contesting. Oh, they try to get the pick on Shivana, but she just R's away. Didn't get Shivana fast enough. Unfortunate. We have Soul coming up in what, like two minutes? What was it? 1.30? Okay, Shivana no R as well, which is really nice. We have Honey Fruit here. We're fine. Can look for a pick here, I think it's fine. I think looking for a pick is reasonable. We see Cogman bot, we see Renekton in their blue side here. She's the ward, clears it. Yeah, we're denying vision nicely. Drake up it in one minute, eight seconds from now. Mm, if we're gonna reset, I guess now's the time. I can't really buy anything and I'm full HP mana. I don't think I need to reset. I should last it this wave and then hard push the next one. I think this is wrong. So I think I should slow... Actually, maybe let me think. We see Wukong. Actually, no, no, no. This is fine. We have such shit vision right now that... Such trash vision that, like, I think walking up... Yeah, no, no. I think what I did was fine. Never mind. So the reason I hard crashed is because I was worried about getting picked off just before Drake. And the reason I was saying I should have slow pushed was because I get to farm two waves and it keeps the next wave closer to my side. But since we have zero vision right now, I could just be getting picked off by, like... Shivana Kogma when I was bot lane. We saw Wukong, but I could be getting picked off by like Shivana Renekton or something. So I think just crashing the wave, resetting, getting your buy, and then going to Drake is the play. My team really should be waiting for me here though. This is our soul. Camille's top with TP. Right? Pretty sure Camille has TP up. Okay, we're clearing some vision here. Oh, get some good poke over the way. Yep, good poke on Renekton. Nice. Just a little bit of Leandri's poke. It's not bad. Wukong. Whoa, what is Wukong doing? Psycho, no? This is bad. Wait, what? Wait, my dev- yeah, that stuns the Shivana. Yeah, that was super in for Mukong. What am I watching? Nice, good job. This should be a good fight for us. Maybe, uh, W. Kog'Maw's a problem. Oh, no. My Zanya's kind of incorrectly. Wukong probably kills me. Oh, no? Flash, flash, flash. I should have flashed there for the Wukong. I flashed the Kog'Maw damage and then- Oh, nice. So I flashed the Kog'Maw damage there. If I flashed the Wukong, I flash the Kog'Maw damage and I flash into Wukong to get the auto. I think Camille runs him down anyway. That should be eight. Yeah, it's ace. Nice, good job. So yeah, I think I think I think flashing there probably was the correct play. I dodge the Kogma true damage and then I go for the Wukong and I probably get the kill with the empowered auto for my Q. So yeah, that's fine. We still get Soul in here in the end. It's nice. Don't really have anything I can buy, but I have no mana. I don't think taking the honey fruit and farming a wave makes a whole lot of sense because I still don't have my item from that. I think just resetting here is probably the better play. Actually, was it? Let me think. Cool. Good job. Good job. I could have pushed at least one wave bottom, I think, reasonably safely. Maybe not, actually. Maybe not. Maybe back. I know. I think backing was the right call, actually. I was so low mana. Even if I grabbed Honey Fruit, like, I'd be at, like, a little above half HP with, like, 20% mana, probably. I think just backing. I'm looking for Needless here for the Shadow Flame next. If I can get enough gold, if I can get to the... Get enough gold, I can sell D-Ring for it. Gotta get to, what is it, 11 or... 1090? Yeah, 1090 to get the Needless, because D-Ring sells for 1160. Okay, good, we get our W. Before Khan's dead there, but we get Shivana ult. I W Shivana there, for, and she ults for some reason, which I think is actually not bad. It's one for one, and we get Shivana R. Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't good. I think I just baited my Rek'Sai. Okay, he flashes out and lives. That's okay, that, that was lucky, honestly. I baited my Rek'Sai. I wanted to go on the Shivana there, but then my pathing was really trash, so I couldn't laser ult. <clears throat> I couldn't laser ult. I was like slightly out of range. I almost baited my Rek'Sai there with the ping. We have enough for Needless in base. But they have no Barons left, and Camille's pushing bottom, so this is fine. Keep pressure middle, we can get this tower too. That was nicely played. Okay, we take middle, we take bottom. We don't really have a top wave. I don't think we can take Inib, Inib Tower here. I think we just reset and spend our gold. I'm very close to Needless, 182 away. I can sell D-Ring for it and just back. I'm pinging the gold, so hopefully... Okay, oh no, he doesn't give it to me. I'm lucky. 
I was hoping Camille would give me Grump there so I didn't have to sell D-Ring. I get this wave, I don't have to sell D-Ring. This is a little sketch though. It is a little sketch. Okay, I get it anyway, oh my god. I should walk back a little farther. Yep, good. If I'm gonna stay in greed for the wave like that, I should walk back a little farther because that's a really obvious recall spot. Yeah, let me see Wukong checking it anyway. I don't know if I would have got my recall off. It would have been really close. I think he would have like walked into the bush as I was recalling. Okay, full Shadow Flame here, lovely. I'm still gonna sell Deering to buy a control ward. I guess that's fine, okay, that's fine, I guess. Control ward's more valuable than Deering at this point anyway, since Baron's coming up. My CS is so bad on Victor when I don't go teleport. My CS is atrocious, I'm talking about it in game right now. My CS is utterly appalling. 170 is so bad. This is like silver gold level CSing in my opinion. I've been grouping a lot for the team fights because I'm really worried about people getting caught out, so I can't side lane quite as much as I want to, but still, that's still really bad CS. Okay, they're going to pick on Nami. Nice Recon engage. That should be a dead Kog'Maw too. Beautiful. Maybe? Yeah, Kog'Maw looks really good. Nice. Really good. He's dead, right? Recon oh, Recon lives? Wow. That's a free Baron. Baron, 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 Baron. We should just Baron here. I don't know what we're doing. Baron, Baron, Baron. what are we doing? Huh? I don't... Yeah. Baron, hello? What are we... We're we standing around doing... We're literally just wasting seconds doing nothing right now. They're dancing around on the red side, doing absolutely nothing. Okay, now we finally get onto it. Holy crap. We wasted probably about 10 seconds there doing nothing. Now Shivana's here, and this is a little spook. Okay, they go on Renekton. Good. Zion, I stay on this. They're zoning out the... Wukong was top. They're zoning out the Shivana and Renekton. This is fine, I think. They have zero vision currently on it. They did see its HP bar, but they currently have zero vision on it. We, see, have, we have perfect vision, and we don't see Wukong getting close, so I think this is fine. Yeah, that was good. Team zones out their entire enemy team. We had really perfect vision, so we would have stopped if we saw Wukong, or I would have flashed over the wall or something and gone on Wukong if he got close. Or like laser ulted and something to zone Wukong out, to not let him steal. But yeah, we took so long to like go on the Baron there. That, I don't know what that was. Okay, my team's like kind of half in base, so we're not really sieging anything. I may as well farm jungle camps while I'm waiting, try and deny them as much as possible. Blue and wolves, lovely. If I want to go Needless next, I think I need a little bit more gold after this. I need to grab Grump as well, or Bot Wave or something. I think I can grab Grump. Grump feel like, yeah? I think Grump's fine. We see Wukong. Shivana just spawned now. We see every- yeah, I think taking the- I don't know why I didn't take the Grump. Maybe I was worried about getting caught out. But we saw Wukong, Kogma, and Nami. Instead, I just catch Midwave. I don't even get it, do I? Oh my god. Okay, I barely get it. I have just enough gold for Needless. Danger pick my team really hard, so I can buy. Yeah, if I just farm Grump there, I just reset and then um, buy Needless and we group now. But instead I was scared, I guess. But I shouldn't have been. Shivana was still dead. Only one who really could have been there was Renekton. And I do not need to be scared of Renekton with Zonyas. I just like laser him W directly on top of myself. Alt, Q, whatever. Or a ghost away if I'm scared that I don't have the damage or something. But I should be fine to kill him. Okay, I'm finally here. My team actually waited for me, which is really nice. Most teams will just int and get it like someone will die and then our entire Baron push is like done and useless. Okay, I actually hit 16. That's really, really, really nice. Having rank 3 ult is beautiful here. Yeah, just keep both waves Baron up. I think we should prioritize middle right now though. Let Camille just keep the spot wave Baron and we just prioritize middle. Okay, Zaya's going to Baron the wave. Good. He's focusing the tower. This is good. Perfect. Just like this. Focus. Ooh. Okay, a little slow on the R, but I think he's fine. Okay, we got Wukong R for Zaya R. Oh, Shivana, really? Goes in a chunk. I should ult, yeah, okay. He really committed, I don't know, that was Psycho. They got the Wukong R. Oh, really nice Wukong R. Wow. Okay, dodge the Nami R, go back in. Kog'Maw is still pretty scary. Okay, never mind, Camille gets on him, actually. Wow, I can just flash on him and we should end here. Oh, bubble, buble, kill Nami and that's GG, nice. Yeah, that Shivana committing kind of hard was weird. Wukong, I think, for Zaya ult. Wukong ult for Zaya ult, I think, might be okay. Probably not, but, like, they're so behind at this point that it doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, that's GG for sure. Yeah, the FF. Okay. Oh! The con. Oh! <gasps> the Trash Master animation? Broken? So yeah, this is the first time I've ever had both of my accounts in Master at the same time. My other one's like 180, 170 LP Master. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you did enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, share with anyone who thinks you care. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time.